what's up everybody we're gonna do a little unboxing here um, this is a uh, well I might put it in the title I might not uh, EDC um, Bally ballistic but uh, if I put it in the title then you know exactly what it is if I didn't put it in the title then uh, it's just you're just uh, gonna have to wait All the bubble wrap in the world. Can't blame the guy. Uh, I got this in a trade and I uh, bubble wrapped what he got up quite well, as also. So, some of you know what this is by now. Put that away. Oh, yeah. Whew. Look at it all fancy in there. Let me do something. There. It's a little better, huh? So we got... Okay, cool. Try to get that back in there. this out of frame okay ta-da it does look to be a fingerprint magnet but I don't uh, necessarily see any scratches or anything in it let me look at it off camera nope Looks pretty minty. Okay. So let's, uh. Whew. It's a sexy blade. Look at that. Just asking to be tipped. Man, <laughs> that might, I don't know, that might rival the, the Bally Ballistic here. What do you all think? Let me know, which one sounds better, uh, Bally Ballistic or uh, the Ryworks Gaw? Both are fingerprint magnets, as you can't, if you can't tell. Um, ugh. Wow. Let me, I gotta just inspect it. This is one of those things you gotta give a little inspection off camera. Um, see if we can shed some light on that. That grind there. it sharp? Eh, not really. It's not dulled, but I mean, I also have thick fingers or finger skin. So all of that doesn't really, it, that doesn't show up as much. Um, no, that's just that, that's just uh, my fingerprint residue, I guess. It really does look like scratches, but when I every time I wipe my finger across it, they come out different looking. And you can see we've got all the. Uh, I love how they've got the extra cutouts here. It's nice. I love to see that.
Mm. Let me go get some Windex. Yeah, let's go get some Windex. All right, couldn't find the Windex, but this ought to do the trick. Now, let me spray this so that it can instantly get uh, re-fingerprinted. Looks so good. I'm trying to look at it off camera just as much as you all are trying to look at it on camera. You can see all that grime though. Yeah. Have to douse this thing. Get out of here. Get. Go. So I guess those are pocket scratches, maybe? I don't know. I Honestly, it almost looks like a pattern. It really does. Um, I can't tell. <laughs> it looks very symmetrical to be just pocket scratches, but... I think it is. I think that's what that is. His pocket scratches um, right in here, which, you know, on a mirror finish is just going to happen. Uh, however, I could easily take those out. Uh, I'm not going to. I don't care that much, but. We have numbers in there. We do have numbers in there. Cool. Alright, so let's uh, hear it again. Yeah. It It flips, uh, <laughs> it flips pretty good. Um, so we'll have a review coming up on this sometime when I get enough time to actually uh, play with it. But I thought I would share that with uh, with you all. Um, I got the notification that this had come in the mail while I was at work. Had to scurry home on my break. Yeah, that's super, that's super nice. Okay, well that's all for now. Um, hope y'all enjoy it. There's not a lot that comes with them. I kind of expected more, but, you know, I guess, uh, I guess I've never really looked at the end, the actual um, box packaging stuff that they come with, uh, so I can't complain too much. Also, it is a box, an actual wooden box. It, now it is like balsa wood, okay, or something along those lines, very light. Uh, but, uh, nonetheless, it's better than, uh, no box. Um, I would probably prefer a taco case, but it's that added, added cleanliness, I guess. Um, so yeah, knife's beautiful, sounds killer. Uh, probably one of the best around. Um, we'll have to definitely get a review up on this, on this guy soon, as soon as we can. Um, until then, see you next time.